get ready with me i haven't done like a sit down talking get ready with me in forever but you know how like tiktok has removed 400 million songs or something like that um i thought i may as well do a talking tiktok because what music am i gonna use that was a joke by the way a lot of the artists that i listen to and enjoy aren't signed under UGC so I can still use some of my favorite artist music but it is a little disappointing about how many have been taken off the platform since yesterday but it is what it is but let's catch up you know what's been going on what's been going down I haven't I honestly haven't just like sat down and talked to a camera on TikTok in the longest time this is honestly a little bit <laughs> a little bit strange but you know tell me what's going on with you what are your plans for today you know what is really weird at the moment for me though not going to school like th this is this is wild like i graduated last year and everyone's going back to school and my brother's back at school now and i just i don't have to go back like i'm free <laughs> it feels very odd just being able to sleep in and like do whatever i want with my day and i don't know it's like what i've been wanting forever and it's finally happening so yeah also i have no idea why when i put my foundation on on camera it looks so yellow because i'm looking in the mirror right now and it doesn't look how it looks on camera what have i been up to i've been going to a lot of concerts recently in fact i bought a ticket to another concert yesterday i know i've talked about being a peach prc fan briefly on here i think but i love peach like i love peach and the last time that she was in melbourne doing a show it was an 18 plus concert and so I'm 17. I couldn't go and I was really, really upset because I wanted to see her live so bad. Anyway, she's just announced a tour for March and she's playing again in Melbourne, but it's another 18 plus show and get this, it's two days before my 18th birthday. Two days, two days before my 18th birthday. So um, I bought tickets for the Brisbane show and I will be flying up to Brisbane to see Peach, PRC and Carla. I don't know if anyone has seen Carla Wavy. I think, oh, is that how you pronounce her last name? I think that's how you pronounce it. But she's incredible. She opened for Alec Benjamin when he played in Melbourne. And she's opening for Peach and I'm really, really excited. This will be my second time traveling for a concert because I'm traveling to Sydney to see Taylor Swift. Um, very excited, very lucky. And then I will be traveling in March to see Peach PRC in Brisbane by myself. A little bit scary. I know a girl who lives in Brisbane who I met in at a concert in Melbourne. So I'll be lining up with her and going with her. But it is a little bit scary to be thinking that I'm going to be like traveling fully on my own. Bit nervous. The next concert I have coming up though is on Monday. I'm going to see Melanie Martinez. I wish I saw Melanie Martinez live in like her crybaby slash K through 12 era, but I didn't get the chance to see her. So I'm so excited that I'm going to the portals tour, but I have no idea what I'm going to wear. That's an issue that I need to sort out today. I've got all of my outfits sorted for the other concerts I'm going to, or at least most of the outfits sorted for the other concerts I'm going to. Also, I got new powder yesterday because mine ran out and oh, it's so nice. That's for all the mums who sent me a bunch of hate for tapping a box a couple of videos ago. That This is for you. This is for you. I just closed it and now I can't get it open because of my nails. <laughs> so as I was saying, I've got most of my concert outfits sorted. I've got my Taylor outfit sorted. I have my Peach PRC outfit sorted. I don't really have my Macy Peters outfit sorted yet. Still working on that one. But I have absolutely no idea what I'm wearing to Melanie on Monday. My addiction to going to concerts, though, is very, very bad because, like, concerts aren't cheap. They're not really cheap. And as I mentioned, I'm turning 18 next month. That is so crazy to say. <laughs> and, like, I want to be able to get a car when I turn 18 and, like, go places and be free. And at the rate I'm going, I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, but also, Itsy's just announced their Born to Be World Tour and they're coming to Melbourne, so I really want to go. Do I have the money to? No. Should I be saving for a car? Yes. Am I probably going to buy tickets? Yes. <laughs> money comes back. Concerts don't. You know what? Let me know down in the concerts. Who is that one artist that if they came on tour to your country that you would drop all of your savings on? Like spend as much money as you need to to ensure that you see them live. I would love to hear like who your favorite artist is. Also, a little health slash diabetes update. Um, I had a clinic day yesterday, so I was in the hospital yesterday. And exciting news, 
I'm probably going on a pop. <laughs> if you've been following my diabetes journey or my diabetes content for a little while, you'll know that I've wanted to go on the pump forever, like since I was diagnosed and it just hasn't been an option for me. Like both financially, it wasn't an option. And also the hospital that I was at wasn't very supportive of me getting a pump. And they were like, it's a long story. They would like dangle the pump over my head and be like, if you, if you mess up once with your levels, it's going. They were horrible. But yesterday when I was in at my clinic, we had like a two hour conversation with the diabetes educator and with my nutritionalist. And my nutritionalist gave me the green light to like go ahead with it. And my diabetes educator also like gave me all of the tips, all of the education I need. So I'm gonna be going to a pump info session soon, which is something you need to do before you get on the pump. And then hopefully I'll be getting on a pump, which is very, very exciting. So fingers crossed everything goes well and I'll be on a pump soon because that would just make my whole life a lot easier, my diabetes management better. I'm, I'm very excited. <laughs> it also means I won't be having to give myself injections like five times a day, which will be fantastic. Well, that's my makeup done. I was going to do my hair, but I'm kind of vibing with this like messy, wavy, natural vibe. So I don't think I'm going to straighten it. I kind of like it like this, like my natural state. <laughs> Well, I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Uh, let me know if you want to see more Get Ready With Me videos like this or if you prefer my, like, usual style. I know this can be fun occasionally. Um, but, yeah. Love you. Bye. I've been sleeping late And if I'm speaking honestly My dreams are the only place Thought of you can't bother me And when I'm wide awake It takes all of my energy To tell our friends we never been this happy